In this video, we're going to begin our discussion of electrochemistry and electrochemical reactions. Okay, and the single defining thing about an electrochemical reaction is the transfer of electrons. And what you have to have to have a reaction considered to be an electrochemical reaction is one where at least one electron is transferred from one atom to another atom. Okay, so a really simple example of this would be if we consider the reaction between a zinc cation and magnesium solid. Okay, so this is elemental magnesium reacting with a zinc cation. And in this reaction, we exchange electrons and we end up with zinc having a charge of zero as the neutral element and magnesium having a plus two charge. Okay, so if we think about the charges on these atoms on the reactant side and the product side, zinc starts off as a plus two and it becomes an element with a charge of zero. Whereas magnesium starts off with a charge of zero and it ends up with a charge of plus two. So in this reaction, zinc is changing st charge states and magnesium is changing charge states. And since we know the only way to change a charge state is by exchanging electrons, then this must be a reaction where we have a transfer of electrons from one of these atoms to another. Therefore, it must be an electrochemical reaction. So when you look at a reaction, if at least one atom changes its charge state, the reaction is electrochemical. One other important thing to keep in mind here is that if one atom changes charge state, another atom must as well. Because it has to be a transfer of electrons, meaning electrons move, move from one atom to another, so you can't just have one atom changing its charge state. There must be at least two. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this reaction down into two more simple reactions that show exactly how electrons are moving. Okay, and we're going to call these our two half reactions. All right, so in the first half reaction, we're thinking only about zinc. So zinc starts as plus two and it ends up as a zinc solid. Okay, so to balance this half reaction, we need to make sure two things are true. Number one is that we need to make sure the total number of atoms is balanced. And this is simple. We only have one zinc on each side, so the number of atoms is definitely balanced. But the second thing we need to think about is making sure that charge is balanced. Okay, and we can see here that on this side of the reaction, we have a charge of plus two, and on this side, we have a charge of zero which means we need to add negative charge to the reactant side. So I need to add two electrons to the reactant side so the overall charge now on the reactant side is zero, which matches the overall charge on the product side. Okay, so we would consider this a balanced half reaction. The atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced. Let's think about doing this with magnesium. So with magnesium, we start as a solid and we end up as a magnesium plus two cation. So in this case, I have a charge of zero on my reactant side. I have a charge of plus two on my product side. So the number of atoms are balanced, but the charge is not. So I need to add two electrons now to my product side so that I can uh, have an overall balance of charge. Okay, so I now have my second balanced half reaction. Okay, um, so at this point, let's go ahead and define two new terms. One is reduction and the other is oxidation. Okay, so when you have an electrochemical reaction, at least one reactant is oxidized, at least one reactant is reduced. Okay, so we're going to define oxidation as the loss of electrons.
Okay, so an oxidation process is one where an atom loses electrons, meaning it becomes more positively charged. Whereas a reduction reaction is one where something gains electrons. Okay, so oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction is a gain of electron. All right, so if we think about our two half reactions here, we have zinc gaining an electron, right? So zinc is reacting with two electrons to become elemental zinc. So this first half reaction must be our reduction reaction because zinc is gaining an electron. Whereas in the second half reaction here, magnesium is losing two electrons, so this must be my oxidation. Okay, so oftentimes it's possible to look at an electrochemical reaction and quickly dis decide what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Right, so in this case, I can look at zinc and say, zinc is going from a plus two to a zero, which means it is becoming less positive, meaning it is gaining electrons. So zinc is being reduced, whereas magnesium is going from a zero charge to a plus two charge, so it is actually being oxidized. It is losing electrons. But we're gonna see in subsequent videos that this is not always possible to just look at this and say oxidation or reduction. Oftentimes you need to break it down into these uh, more explicit half reactions to be able to determine what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Okay, um, a couple easy ways to remember the oxidation and reduction terms. So one is an acronym of Leo says GER. So loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is reduction. So Leo, loss of electrons is oxidation, GER, gaining electrons is reduction. So that's one really easy way to remember which is which. Another really easy way that I like is to remember that if you have a reduction reaction, then your electrons are reactants. Okay, so when electrons are reactants, it's a reduction. All right, so these are just some general terms and a general introduction to uh, electrochemical reactions. In the next video, we will start exploring how to balance more complex electrochemical reactions and then move into some ideas about thermodynamics and how we can apply the concepts of thermodynamics to electrochemical reactions.